Hello, my name is Jason Roberts, and I'm going to give you a short tutorial on how to get started with Board Effect on your PC or Mac. The first step is to go to aicup.boardeffect.com. This works in all major browsers for the Mac and PC. Next, you'll need to log in using the credentials we provided to you. If you don't know your credentials, please contact Cindy Reisinger. At the first login, you'll be asked to change your password. Keep in mind that your password must be eight characters long and include at least one number and one letter. Once you change your password, just click continue. You'll be logged into the Board Effect portal for the first time. Now that you're logged in, you'll want to look at the My Upcoming Events tab and click on the upcoming board event. This area would show you all the details related to the event. The area you're going to spend the most time is in the board book. Click on the book icon. This brings you to an overview of the board book, including all the sections in it. You can expand each section to see the documents within. The best way to view the book is to use the meeting book viewer. Click on that icon and this will launch an easy to read overview of the book. You can scroll through using your mouse scroll wheel or on your touchpad, page by page. At the top, there's a toggle to skip between pages, left and right. You can even type in a page number if you want to go somewhere specific. The zoom in and zoom out tool allows you to enlarge the pages. On the left hand side is a breakdown of all the sections. You can click on each part and it'll quickly toggle you through the sections. The next powerful feature of Board Effect that I want to show you is the annotations. They offer a number of annotation tools. The first one here is the sticky note tool. You can put a sticky note throughout anywhere in the board notes and it allows you to have a text field that saves when you minimize it. It's indicated by those little yellow call-out buttons. You can edit and delete them after you've completed one. The next tool is the highlight tool. It allows you to put a yellow highlight over any text. You can do multiple lines at once if you choose. Then there's the underline tool. Simply drag your mouse under a line of text. It'll leave that red line underneath. There's also a strikeout tool that allows you to select a, a group of text and give a reason for the strikeout. There's also a shape tool where you can draw a square around a box. You simply click and hold and select the text and it'll draw that square around the text. There's a circle as well and I've highlighted the top there with a circle. The freehand tool, it's a little difficult to use with a mouse, but it allows you to freehand over top the minutes using your mouse pointer. There's some other shape tools, but the other uh, useful feature I want to show you is the ability to insert a text box anywhere. So you simply select the T there and then type out your text. Board Effect also makes it very easy to delete the annotations that you've made. Using the selection tool, you can highlight any of your annotations or even multiple annotations and tap the delete key. This will quickly remove the annotations from the board book. On the left hand column, you also see a list of all the annotations you've made. Click on one of those annotations and tap the delete key to get rid of it. It's very important that you click the save button before leaving the board book viewer. Any unsaved annotations will be lost. However, saved annotations will remain across platforms. So let's say you logged out, logged back in, click that meeting book viewer again. You'll notice that the annotations are still there. The annotations also carry across to the download options that you have. So for example here you'll see the download to PDF with annotations option. That allows you to download the whole board book including your own annotations. 
That takes a few seconds to generate, then click the download full PDF button. Once it's downloaded, you can open it up and you'll see that it's a normal PDF file, including the annotations. Due to the amount of confidential information in Board Effect, it's always important to remember to log out. Go to the top right hand corner and click your name and then select the log out button. Those are just a few quick tips to help you get started with Board Effect. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to contact the Library and Technology Services Department at 717-815-1559 or ltshelp at ycp.edu. Thanks for your time.